situation isn't. These things, I, I'm going to make a note about the test here, and I don't do this very often, so pay close attention. These words appear repeatedly on the test. Some of them happen two or three times. That's okay. I'm trying to get you to understand particular concepts when I do that. All right. Anyway, sensory adaptation. It's basically overload of the system, right? Um, you know, if I constantly flick my finger like this, it kind of hurts at first. After a while, it just kind of goes numb. Your senses just adapt to it. You don't feel it anymore. That's not habituation. That's sensory adaptation. Same thing with really loud noises, right? Just once you get on overload, it just kind of shuts down. Oh, when you're just tired, you're not habituated, you're just tired, and, you know, we were up skiing the other day, and, you know, just working, and by the end of the day, I'm just so exhausted that when that annoying sound went off down at the, the, the village at Schweitzer there, I just didn't care. <laughs> That's not habituation, it was, I'm just exhausted, okay? Um, this works at the interneuron location. It, it slows, you know, habituation uh, works at that inner neuron spot. It's not on the sensory neuron. It's not on the motor neuron. You're still detecting those things, but it, the, the, the reaction that, the, to that particular thing doesn't happen. It doesn't make that jump right, between the sensory and the motor neurons. Um, response specific. Orienting response will decrease. You know, an example, if I make a loud noise. You may have just tried to orient towards that loud noise, even though it came from you. Oh, what's going on there, right? Um, so you orient toward that. It's gonna that orienting response will decrease with the repeated presentation. Uh, a great example. This was in Kabul when I was living in Afghanistan in Kabul, and the traffic is just horrific. You guys can't even imagine unless you've been there to a country that has that sort of traffic. You know, Egypt is some pretty bad traffic too, uh, but Kabul is oh my gosh. There's nothing in the United States that compares. New York isn't even traffic. That's just slow moving vehicles. Traffic is when stuff gets locked up for 10-12 hours at a time. You can't move. That's traffic, right? So anyway, and also the traffic there is really weird. Sometimes it all goes in one direction. Sometimes it goes in both directions. Sometimes it goes in the other direction. And it's all the same road. There's no signal to indicate otherwise. So getting through that is a challenge, right? Uh, so eventually you, you habituate. You just don't pay attention to all the crap going on around you. So it is response specific. So the, the <laughs> there's car getting, oh my gosh, all these things are going to hit me. That just eventually decreases. It's like, all right, it's all good. If somebody hits me, somebody hits me, I'm just going to cruise across the street. And that's what you do. So, um, so habituation is not sensory adaptation. It is not fatigue. All right, so keep that in mind. Um, and it's, it's, te it's relatively temporary too. So, uh, and that's that spontaneous recovery stuff. Um, and we'll come back and talk about more of that later. And we will see you soon.